the you know the, the next question is about the credit rating agencies. I um, we can discuss whether credit rating agencies are perfect or not. I remember when I was chairing the FSB uh, in answering the um, in giving in providing the first answer to the uh, financial crisis in April 2008. Um, the role that the credit rating agencies had played during the financial crisis, especially during the formation of the financial crisis, was really nothing that one would recommend. And so we, uh, we I remember saying and probably writing that we have to learn to do without them. Uh, the point of fact is that since then, uh, it's been very difficult to create any valid replacement that when I say valid replacement, I would say a replacement that gains and has the same level of trust by the main institutional investors, namely pension funds and all other uh, main actors in the financial sector, because it's them that give the credibility to the credit rating agencies. And, um, and that's where, why in the, during the financial crisis, they seem to be very close to lose this credibility because they have advised their investors with rate, giving ratings to products that certainly would not deserve those ratings. Uh, but but it's, very, it's very difficult to uh, have in, uh, clearly if, if it's private, will uh, command greater credibility than if it is public. Certainly so. But it's also difficult to enter this market from outside now. So we, we certainly wish to have as many uh, assessments of credit ratings as we can. And we are trying, we ourselves at the ECB, we are using now, I don't know about scope, I will have to see, but we are using a variety of things where the credit rating assessments are certainly the most important one, but we're also using other assessments both also central banks do, some central banks have their own uh, uh, rating. Uh, there are also internal rating assessments. So, um, but, but certainly we are open to, to widen and broaden the spectrum uh, as fit, please. Thank you. 